Hey guys, today I thought I would show you what little knowledge I have about sending email. Ouch. So, I highly recommend sending email using Amazon SES. So, it's only available in a couple of regions. I usually use uh, Oregon. So, you'll have a console that will look like, like this. Um, so, by default, um, your account will be sandboxed and you have to verify the address that you send it to. To be able to send to anybody, you have to request a sending limit increase. So that's first and foremost, right? I can't remember what error you will get, but you'll hit an error if you try to send to anybody. And right now, this is basically what you get without requesting anything. The important notes here are that when you create your SMTP credentials, you'll get um, an SMTP username and password that you'll use to configure um, some sort of MT SMTP forwarder. Now, SMTP is the, the protocol that's used to, to send mail, by the way, if you don't know. So the important thing here is that the it looks a lot like uh, AWS credentials, but they're actually not. They're slightly different. There's uh, some different, you know, encoding to it. So this is how you create the credentials. Use this thing. Don't use the uh, IAM type way of doing it. That will save you a ton of time. Uh, and once you've got the credentials, I usually store them in EC2 parameter store. Um, you can figure that out yourself. Um, and then, for example, here, um, I, I would save it under SES username and SES MT uh, password. I would save it in the EC2 parameter store. Now, the uh, stuff like Node.js, for example, require, uh, or Node Mailer, rather, requires something like a, a mail URL. And here is a little script I use to build that mail URL. I'll, I'll link it in the description. You have to be careful with um, encoding the password typically, because like if it has like a slash or something has to be escaped. So this little script takes care of that little problem when you're, when you're sending email, otherwise you'll, you'll, um, you'll fail to send email. Another thing I wanted to mention when, when, when sending email is always send the text counterpart. That's the, the main thing I see, I see missing with a, a lot of um, implementations of people who send email. Don't just send HTML, you'll be flagged as spam. So SES, when that sends email, it normally will not be flagged as spam, but I dare say if you only send HTML mail, you will probably hit some spam filter. Always send a text counterpart, okay? Um, so yeah, you can send email using SMTP settings. You can configure node mailer with a mail URL. Uh, in my Lambda functions here, in my serverless functions, this is a page and you can fill it in with your details and you can, you can contact me. If I go to the source code, I can show you how I basically just use the AWS SE, SES SDK to send me email. Um, what might be interesting here, if, I, I mean, is this interesting? Well, instead of using a capture, I use a, what do you call it, CSRF to make sure that who's sending me stuff is who's is probably more a little bit more legitimate by setting a cookie and and, and a bit of a token but i wanted to mention that <clears throat> what did i want to mention well have a look at this javascript this is how i do my feedback form i just like i just oh, what do you call it hmm, a pickle no there's a term for this when you just grab the whole thing anyway i thought the source code is very clear i don't minimize anything or uglify anything if you if you look at if you look here you can see how i submit the form um C serialize that's the word i was looking for i serialize the form with just like one line Woohoo! oh you also need to pass credentials otherwise the header thing doesn't work and uh and then yeah the back end looks like this i 
I dumped the whole request actually, so I get to see the headers too. I passed the multi-part form and then I <laughs> sent myself the email. So I hope that was somewhat interesting. I showed you how to get your SES credentials to send email reliably with AWS. I showed you how to configure Node and I showed you how I do it with my own serverless functions. Please like the video. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, share the video, all that jazz. Thanks again, guys. Bye now.